Hello everyone, welcome back. <laughs> what was that? Welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Ella Ringrose and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to manifest and change your appearance using the law of attraction and divine feminine energy. Two very, very powerful, potent energies and gifts that we were given from the universe so that we can create and manifest our dream reality, our dream life that we all deserve to live, okay? So how to change your appearance? I've written down some notes here because I made a video on this a year ago and I've learned so much since then. I feel like I was a little baby back then. I'll actually link the video if you want to see the difference, kind of in the energies. And down below, I also look super different. But today's video is how to change your appearance using the law of attraction. Now, I can, without a shadow of a doubt, sit here and say that it is possible to transform the way you look. It is tra uh, possible to completely transform a lot about your physical appearance. Your body shape can change. Your face can change. Your eye color can lighten and change, right? Some things that happened to me. My body shape started to change drastically when I started to get into this and I started doing this. My face shape started to change a little bit. My eye color 100% changed. It became so much lighter, so much bluer, right? So many things started to happen when I did this routine, which I'm going to share with you. And I've broken it down into three steps on how to do this because this is very, very powerful and very, very deep. And a lot of people don't realize that they can do this. Um, so I'm excited to share this. So the first one on how to change your appearance using the law of attraction is divine feminine energy. Now, let me share this quickly. So when I first started to get into how to change the way I was looking, I was very in my masculine energy. And I was very in that goal-driven orientation of wanting change now, okay? And so when we are more in the divine feminine energy, what is the difference? When we're in the masculine energy, we are hustling, we are trying so hard to get this thing. But the divine feminine energy, she receives the transformation. She receives the growth. She receives the change, right? She's the receiver of life. She's the fruits of the labor. You know, she eats the, the, the beauty of life, right? She is the creator, the creation. So when we're wanting to change our physical appearance, it's about embodying the divine feminine because so many people have left the divine feminine behind. So many people have left the goddess energy. They've left it dormant, right? The goddess divine feminine energy is looking after yourself. So many people want to change, but they're not willing to look after themselves. Look after, excuse me, look after the rest, okay? Look after how they, what they eat, what they're doing, right? I just got back from doing yoga on the beach. I'm still wearing my sports bra, but I felt super inspired to make this video because I had to share with you. Are you putting your physical vessel first, your divine feminine energy, okay? Loving your body, which goes into the second one, which is self-love. When we are loving our body, we are being appreciative of our body, and we are saying thank you. When we are being kind, we are feeding it with positive, kind, loving thoughts. We are nurturing it. We are massaging it. We are feeling it when we're being loving to our body, when we're moving in our body, when we're in that divine feminine essence, we will naturally change our appearance. Our appearance will change because it is like we are watering a flower every day. It is going to blossom and grow. We are the exact same. We are like soil and people don't realize this. How we treat ourselves, how we feel about ourselves will manifest into a thorn or a rose, okay? It will manifest. How we treat ourselves is how we create the way we look, our weight, our physical appearance, our eye color, everything is how we speak to it. And what we speak to will get bigger and bigger and more enhanced, okay? So the, 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 <laughs> the second way to change your physical appearance um, is to be loving to yourself, nurture yourself, see yourself as a flower and feed yourself with love and watch yourself blossom. Okay, and the third one is putting your mind, body, and spirit as your main priority in life. What fulfills my mind? What makes my mind happy? What makes my body feel good? What makes my body feel happy and look good? How does my spirit feel? Does my spirit feel fulfilled? Does my spirit feel on fire? Do I feel passionate about my life? Those three core essences, the mind, body, spirit, which really tie into the first step and the second step, when we honor who we are, when we honor our physical vessel, when we honor what we're doing in this world, the way we want to show up, the way we want to live, when we honor that, our physical body, our physical appearance will change. When I started doing this, these three things, when I started being more in the divine feminine, feeling my emotions, 
feeling in the body, when I started nurturing myself, nurturing myself with love, when I started being kinder to myself, being much kinder to myself than a lot of masculine people are, they're in this masculine way of being where they're so cruel to themselves and their, their, their appearance is depleting because they're not radiating help. They're covering up and this is what I used to do. I used to cover myself in so much makeup. I would wake up every morning and spend hours hair extensions, straightening my hair, um, fake tan, constantly trying to hide my freckles. If you can tell, I'm a freckly girl, right? Trying to change everything. And when I quit all of that, when I stopped trying to hide myself, I started seeing myself from my raw natural nature and I started to manifest and change that because so many people, when they're trying to manifest and change their appearance, they're not willing to look at themselves because they're so good at masking and so nothing's going to change because you're not dealing with the root which is yourself your mind body spirit when we focus in on the mind body spirit our physical appearance will manifest and change if you go onto many spiritual youtubers i'm not going to say who but if you go to a lot of spiritual youtubers online and you look at their videos from two to three years ago their appearance is changing and they are becoming more and more beautiful because they are doing the work. They are doing the mind, body, spirit work. They are living a spiritual path. And when you are living a spiritual path and you are fulfilling your soul, you're fulfilling your mind, your body, you are feeding yourself with good things, your appearance will blossom. It will change. It will radiate, okay? Your body will change. My body started to drastically change six months ago when I started to put myself first. I manifested yoga into my life and my body started changing completely. My hips started to get a little bit wider. My body started to get like more of a toned stomach, started to get kind of abs. Like my body completely shifted. And that was through these three things, right? My eye color completely lightened. My eye color got so much bluer over the past six months because I was doing this work. And that was what was manifesting and changing this appearance, right? So that is how you really change and manifest your appearance is you have to look within and do the work and the self-loving work and your appearance will manifest externally how you are feeling about yourself internally. Because remember, how you feel internally is a direct reflection of your external. So when we are relying on the external to change in order to feel good inside, that is not how you manifest. Manifestation is the energies that you are creating because we are powerful vibrational energies and we create this through emotion. When we are creating these emotional energies of love, of appreciation, of confidence for ourselves, when we are creating that energy, we will naturally co-create and attract a reality externally to match what we are feeling internally. So that will change in your appearance. Your energies will change, right? When we do Reiki, when we do all of these things in our body, it shows us more and more and again and again that we are just energy. And when we create good energy, your body has to shift and transform. Now it's not to say, and I wanna make this quick, very disclaimer, you are beautiful the way you are, okay? There is nothing you need to do or be or change to be enough. That is the biggest thing we've been fed in society is that we are not enough as we are, we need to change. But what I will say is a few years ago when I was constantly wearing makeup and I was constantly trying to hide myself, when I was in that state, that masculine wall that I was creating of protecting myself, when I was in that state, I was so much more unhappy. And through going into the spiritual journey and having that motive of, okay, I'm going to change the way I see myself. I'm going to fall in love with myself. Okay, because I didn't love myself. I didn't love myself at all. When I did that journey, when I really dove into that transformation, it just so happened that my appearance changed, okay? And that is not to say that that was the goal, but I am so much happier now because I feel incredible inside, okay? It's nothing to do with I feel happy because I look this way. In fairness, I'm actually really excited to get old and to age and to enjoy each cycle as it comes as a woman. But I will say that I have become happier and happier and more comfortable in my natural nature, right? I quit makeup, I only wear lip liner because I just feel so good in my natural skin and so my body can't help but exude and show that out and really manifest that. So that is how you are going to manifest and change your appearance. And um, it's not even something I would like you to consciously want to do. I want you to really just fall in love with who you are. But the side effect of that will be that your appearance will change, right? The more you give yourself love, the more you feed yourself with love, because we are in a society, a system, where we are so cruel to ourselves, we are so mean to ourselves, we are constantly trying to fix ourselves, face tune ourselves, Photoshop ourselves, go to the gym, lose weight, cinch ourselves, we're trying to compare to all these people online, wear so much makeup, trying to blend in, 
okay? When we awaken and really fall in love with that divine feminine energy that all of us women have within us, when we awaken that and we exude and we water that, we feed that, we nurture that like a mother would, like the divine feminine. When we do that, that is how we will shapeshift and transform our energy. We'll be more magnetic. We'll be more receptive. We'll be magical manifestors, right? All of these beautiful things. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it found you well. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I'm sending you so much love. I also wanna let you know that I do have the Divine Feminine Goddess program down below. This is a course that I've created to help you do all of these things, to help you embody your most beautiful self, to embody a life where you can manifest things instantly, that you can manifest a life that you dreamed of and desired of. I teach you all of that in the Divine Feminine Goddess program because you deserve to manifest anything you desire. You deserve to live a good life. You deserve to love yourself. You deserve to feel good in your own skin, okay? So I'm sending you so much love. I'll link that down below. I also want you to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and let me know. Again, I think I said that already, what you think in the comments. Um, I'm sending you lots of love. Mm -hmm. Bye.